Hello, 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 everyone. It is Focus On It Friday, and I am Dr. Brandy B. Listen, y'all, I was lost in Facebook world. Out there somewhere is alive with my name on it, y'all, but we were not here. I was like, where are my people? My people are not here, so I hope that y'all have found me because I'm so glad that I found y'all. It was kind of scary out there. I was like, it's 12 o'clock noon, and I can't find my people. Where are are they so come on come on come on in here i know it's 12 30 and y'all were looking for me i was looking for you too oh my goodness but we have found each other and i am so excited about it come on in come on in come on in everybody let me tell you some exciting stuff nobody is here where is everybody come on come on come on Tag all your friends, tag all your people. Let them know we are here at Focus On It Friday. We are starting late, and I didn't even have a way to tell y'all because somehow, I don't know where the thing took me, but I see one person coming in. Go ahead, share this video, let other people know we're late, but we are here for Focus On It Friday, and I'm so excited to be there. Y'all know I couldn't find y'all. I don't know where I was in Facebook world, but... I'm here now on Focus On It Friday, and I am waiting for you to come on in. So tell everybody she's there, she's there. Come on in. Let's have a good time. Let's have a good time. Y'all, we had so much fun last week. We were talking about I Take Care of You, Mama. Oh, my goodness. Do y'all remember how much fun we had last week? It was so, so, so much fun. And we are back today for Focus On It Friday, and I'm so glad that y'all are here with me. Come on in and bring a friend. Let everybody know she's there. She's there. She just had some technical difficulties, but that is all right. That's why I have a team helping me normally, and I was going to try to be fancy and do it myself. So come on in. Tell everybody that we are here. I don't know how to let people know that I'm here, but... Um, let me start tagging some people. Maybe I can do it that way. I don't know if that is something that will work. Um, maybe, perhaps not. Uh, but let's see. Let's see if we can get it. Um, nope, that's not working. Come on in. Make sure you're tagging. Make sure you're sharing so that people know that we are focusing on asking the questions. Asking the questions. That's what we are going to talk about today, y'all. I am late because... Some kind of way I got lost in Facebook, um, Facebook world, and I was on another page, and I couldn't see y'all, and you couldn't see me, but we're here. We are here now, and I'm trying to figure out how to tag people, but I never know how to do that, so we are not going to worry about it, but we will go ahead and get started. Uh, I'm Dr. Brandy B, triple board certified child and adolescent psychiatrist. Through my Facebook live streams, my webinars, my upcoming book, and my speaking engagements, I help worried moms, dads, family members, and everybody in between, teachers and educators and superintendents, and you get all the education that you need so you can be successful in the classroom and in life. I'm coming to you all live from Birmingham, Alabama. It is about 1233 Central Standard Time, and I am so excited to be here with you for Focus On It Friday. I wanted to talk a little bit today about Focus On the question. I have found that so many people have questions about so many different things and um, they don't really have a way to figure out what, you know, how to get those questions answered. And so I wanted to just take this opportunity to talk about some of the questions that I have answered for guests who have come on my show. Um, those include, uh, as you know, I'm an ADHD expert, but I do all things child related and I'm also board certified in adult psychiatry as well, uh, board certified in pediatrics as well too. So um, sometimes people ask me all sorts of questions like, how do I know if my child has ADHD or when can my child be treated for ADHD or do I need to treat my child for ADHD on the weekends? They may even ask things like, can my child play sports while being treated for ADHD? Or they may want to say, um, will my child end up on substances if he is treated for ADHD? Some people may want to know, well, what kind of treatments are there for ADHD? I'm scared of those medications. Some people may say, well, what are the side effects of those medications or what are those medications? These are all very important questions. <laughs> Some people may even say, well, how do you know if a kid has ADHD versus just being a normal kid? These are all very good questions. 
Some people may not have a question about ADHD at all. They may have a question about autism. And they may say that, you know, well, my child walks on his toes. I thought that I heard that that may be it. Or they may say, my child doesn't talk at all. When should I be concerned? Or they may even say, um, you know, we we don't have speech therapy in my area. What What can I do? Where can I get speech therapy for my kid? These are all very valid questions, and we want to have the, the answer to them. Um, and so if y'all have any questions today, this is a good place to be to try to get them answered. Um, over here with Dr. Brandy B. So we want you to definitely come on in and do that. Um, let me see some other questions that have been answered um, about eating disorders. Eating disorders are very prevalent. Um, we usually see those in adolescents more so than young, very young children. Um, okay, awesome. So somebody just said there are lots of people on. It's not showing me. Yay. Why is it not showing me? Um, I don't know. Y'all, it's just real wacky over here with the technology. But uh, thank you, Dia, for telling me because I'm just like, Lord, it's showing me one little number, honey. And that is all that I can see. Let me see if I can pull it up on my um on my computer. I tell you what, I have a new respect for the pastor when you're sitting in the audience and uh, you're not saying anything because it's such a lonely feeling out here when you look like you're talking to somebody else. But I was still going to be energetic for y'all. Even though I couldn't see anybody. <laughs> uh, let's see if it'll come up so I can see. I want to see who's out there. Who is out there? Who is out there? You know I love y'all. I um I, I miss y'all too. Let's see. Why is this? I, I don't need all of that. Just take me so I can see who's watching. All right. But we're talking about asking the question. And you know, you can only... Here we go. Okay, yay, 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 yay. All right. I see all y'all's comments over there. I may have to just shift over here. Sis Erica said, uh, hey, sis, thank you for all you do to help others. And I want to say thank you as well. There we go. I've got some comments coming in. I'm here, says Jeremy and Dia. I'm here, says Auntie Raza. Watch it, sis. Oh! Make a girl feel so special. My auntie, uh, my sister-in-law, Erica, Miss Sharon is watching. Eliza Allen, hello, Miss Debbie Watson Stringer says hello. Yeah, y'all, my count is still saying one, but there are clearly people who still like me. I was like, oh no, Lord, they're mad at me because I got lost in Facebook land. I don't know why all my stuff is all jacked up, but I'm glad that y'all are here. So y'all saw heard me just read off some of the questions that people say. People ask me all the time in the grocery store. They're my DM. And by the way, if you're my patient, please call the office where you see me because I cannot and will not respond to your request with all your kids' personal information. Uh, and you have a way to contact me that we really want you to do that because there are so many people in the background that help make the machine work that when you catch me off guard and catch me at the Piggly Wiggly or catch me at the park with my kids, uh, I'm going to forget. So, Please, please, please contact me during those way, uh, on the ways that we've already set aside. And I appreciate y'all so much for being here. I just love y'all. Um, let's see. My child has autism and wants to play football. Is that okay? I think my mother has dementia. What should I do? Oh, my goodness. That's a good one. Um, how do I avoid letting people upset my mood? These are questions that we've had come in before. And I just want to take this time to ask you all, if you have any questions today, um, and if so, you know, we'll take some time to answer them. This is kind of like a prelude to my Q&A tomorrow. So um, if you have already registered and if you will already be attending the conversation on tomorrow, you will receive an email from me uh, within the next couple of hours after I end this broadcast. Um, but I am having tomorrow, Saturday, March 20th. Uh, from 10 a.m. till 12 p.m. until we get everybody's questions answered. I just won't cut you off. That's just not the type of doctor I am. Uh, Central Standard Time starting at 10 a.m. We will be answering all of your questions. It is going to be a small setting. We do have a few seats left. But if you have anybody out there 
who has a child that's hyperactive, has a child that can't stay still, has a child that's not doing well academically, has a child who's not sleeping well, has a child who is all over the place. They lose focus. They lose things. They can't keep up with their keys, their wallet, their homework. They forget to turn their homework in. That's a special population of children that will do their homework and it takes them all night and then they do not turn it in. Um, if your child is having some trouble getting along with other people, not being very social, 12 years old and still living in a fantasy land, like for real, um, not being able to perform as you think a 12 year old should, not having friends come over. And of course, this is pre-pandemic. I'm not advocating for that at all right now. Um, then it may be something going on with them otherwise along the lines of autism spectrum disorder. And you may have questions about that. So that is what we are going to be doing tomorrow. Um, all for $47. I've got some special bonuses coming up and some surprises and prizes um, that will be very much worth your while. Um, but I did just want to take this opportunity to answer some questions. One of the questions I often get is, how do you know if a child has ADHD when they're very young versus just being a typical child? And I will say this, the DSM, which are, is our di the manual that we go by to make any diagnoses, that manual tells us that for any diagnosis, right, any single diagnosis, it has got to impair you in your personal life, in your work life, in your school life. And so, you know, teachers, that's why I commend them so much. And a lot of parents do not like for teachers to come to them and say, your child seems like they have something going on. Um, and everybody wants to say, well, they just want to label my child. They just want to, my child to be sedated in the classroom. But actually, teachers, you know, I give all praises to teachers and all the recognition that they are due. But teachers look at kids all day long and they look at kids who are that same age and that same grade. And they can easily recognize outliers. So if your child is in the third grade and everybody else can sit there for, you know, three or four hours at a time. But your child, as soon as they walk in, their butt never touches the seat. That's going to be really obvious to the teacher. And so if your child is three and they never sit down, um, but you've had, you know, four or five other kids before, or been around a lot of kids before, and you know that those kids, when they were three, were able to sit down, then perhaps that is, you know, a situation that may need further attention. I want to let you know, too, that we won't just be talking about ADHD tomorrow. We're going to be talking about whatever comes up. So if you say, I think my child is depressed, well, we're going to talk about what depression looks like, what it feels like, what it smells like, if it touches you, if it doesn't, and all the things that we can go through as far as treatment. We will be talking about a lot of treatment if those questions come up. I will have some questions that I have am prepared to answer, but I know that people also have their own list of questions that they will be prepared for as well. So make sure you go ahead and register. What else seems to come up? Um, a while back, somebody asked me what was my favorite patient success story. Um, and that would have to be uh, one of my very early patients in training when I was in residency. A family came in. It was a mom, a dad, and a girl of about eight years old. And the mom was like, something is wrong. And the, the dad was like, no, it isn't. And they went back and forth to the point that their marriage was on the brink because dad did not believe anything was wrong with his daughter, um, was unusual, out of the ordinary or whatever. And so it was tearing their marriage apart. And uh, dad stormed out. He slammed the door. Mom was left there crying. And meanwhile, the child was still just kind of doing her thing, tearing up the office. And I remember, you know, of course, this was pre-COVID going over and hugging her because I'm actually a psychiatrist that will hug people um, if, you know, if that is something that's appropriate at the time. But I went over to the mom. I hugged her and I told her it's going to be OK. And I it just if you've ever hugged your own children or someone else's children when they're <laughs> when they get all worked up that side when you just kind to hug them and you know tell them it's gonna be okay um that was what that mom felt and that was the first time that i noticed that even with adhd like your kid doesn't have to be almost dying for parents to feel that sigh of relief and so it was really touching to me that even as a child and adolescent psychiatrist i would be able to comfort parents in that way uh, they did go ahead and seek treatment for the child by the next month the child was doing so much better and by the second month it was like nothing was even going on with her. Dad uh, still never really completely would say, okay, I see what we were dealing with. But he did admit, you know, begrudgingly. 
He didn't want to do it, but he did admit that he noticed some differences. So that's one of the best success stories, and that's what I do all day, every day. And I'm really grateful that I get a chance to do that and to be, um, to provide that service, as my sister-in-law Erica said, to provide that service for people. Um, so I think that, let's see, have any other, I think everything is just not going right with my computer and my technology over here. Nothing is moving. So hopefully you all um, are not saying things that I'm missing um, because nothing's moving on my end. I'm just glad knowing that I am still here. Oh, okay. So I've got to look over here. Miss, oh, that's right. Miss Eric. Okay. Oh boy. We got all kind of stuff. Hold on y'all. Let's see. I'm so sorry y'all. Let me see how I can get to these. My, my phone is not right. Amber Melendra says, so excited to see you tomorrow on Conversation q and I am so glad that you are coming. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You've got a friend. Somebody's got a friend. Make sure that they uh, know that we will be there and we will be having a lot of fun and learning a lot. Miss Erica, my sister, says my nephew will be 19. I still can't believe that. I remember when that little fellow was born. I think I was in, I was in my post-back year of med school. So, ooh. Dog, that means I've been on this journey for 19 years. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, so we want to say happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Cameron. Happy birthday. I love you. So you be safe tomorrow, turning 19, um, having fun. Remember all those things we taught you. And we're still expecting great things from you. Looking forward to seeing about it. Chantree says, what's the youngest age that is prescribed medication for ADHD? That's a good question, Chantree. I actually have a little girl, and I know because I saw her just recently. She is three years and nine months, and I've been seeing her for a year. She's probably the youngest I've ever treated. But she's three years and nine months. I've been treating her for a year. And to let you know why that mom probably brought her to me i am still trying to get everything straight with her and i'm pretty good at what i do it only takes me those that work out here with me they know in one month you're uh, you're good to go by two months oh my goodness and by three months i'm ready to see you you know in quite a while um so for me to still be trying to work on her medications a year later lets you know that it, it was pretty significant so the mom Mom had to get her in there, and we are still working. But three years, nine months, and I've been seeing her for a year. So she was she was just under three years old when we when I started treating her. Do you know of any grief support groups or counseling? Um, that's a good question, Erica. And I will look into that. There are some that I know of, and I can tell you exactly where they meet, but I can't tell you their name or contact information right now. But I'll look that up and find it when we're done. Uh, let me see if any other questions have come up. And I'm so sorry, guys, that this is not letting me see you all and follow along. But you know me. If there is a will, there is a way. I'm going to get it done. So are there any other questions? Please, um, I appreciate y'all being here. Please post your questions here. If you have friends who need to be there tomorrow. The flyer is all over my page. I can send it to you if you send me a direct message. Um, then we can go ahead and send that flyer to you. I can tag you so that you can share other with others. I really appreciate you doing that. Amber, Amber make sure you've got your questions ready, girl. Because you know, we got 17 comments. Let me make sure I see all of them. I, um, I don't want to miss anybody's questions tomorrow. And I'm going to say stay there, like I said, until we get them all answered. If you put a question in there that I cannot see, please, if you don't mind, type it again for me. I have no idea why my phone is acting up the way that it is. It usually does so much better. Technology is not being nice to me. Dr. Terrellyn, hi, Dr. Terrellyn. Three years, three years. Uh-oh, three years. What's three years, girl? Oh, three years old. Yeah, yeah. And she wasn't even three when we started. But like I just said, the fact that we are still struggling to get it together, it lets you know, it's like, that poor mom had to quit working. She had to quit working. Yeah, so um, 
she's a challenge for me, but I'm up for it. And thank God her mom is um, understanding and flexible. I have another, she has another child that I treat. So um, she knows that this is an outlier, an outlier. Three years old, Dr. Tara Lynn. Yep, three years old. Sam Robinson, thank you for being an educator and doing what you do. She says, I made it today late, but I made it. You're not super late, girl. I've had technical technological problems today i still am not sure that i'm seeing all of the comments um shantree says thank you cousin slash dr brandy of course anytime girl dr terrellin says thanks for sharing dr terrellin i was on a really good talk with dr terrellin dr terrellin is a mississippi girl but she's up in maryland doing big things these days if you're looking for a career change dr terrellin can help you get there but this week she had me on as a panelist, we were talking about the COVID vaccine. Uh, it was facts about the vax, VAX, y'all. It was so good. It was so good, and I learned so much. I'm hoping that her group will release the recording, and I'm going to bring it to you right here on Dr. Brandy B. It was so good. So speaking of which, if y'all have questions about the vaccine tomorrow, the coronavirus vaccine, uh, y'all know I'm a big advocate of you getting it. Um, because it's safe, and I got my first one in December, and I have grown no extra parts of my body. So do that if you can. But um, it was really good. I'll share that with you all. Um, let's see. Anything else, guys? We are just having fun over here. Uh, Janice, hello. Hello, hello. How are you doing today? Thank you for joining. I'm sorry, guys. I was late. I was on another page just talking and I was like, something is right. Not right. Nobody is talking back to me. This is not how my fans work. So it's still showing that there are only two of y'all and I know that there are more. So I don't know. I apologize for technology. We're going to blame it on the rain. Sam says she finally got her first dose a couple of weeks ago. It was like Christmas. Girl, it really is. It is like Christmas. Oh my goodness. Listen, y'all, if you got it, uh, if you have the opportunity, please get it. I came up the other day when I was on the panel with Dr. Terrellin. It's like traveling Southwest. You know, if on a full flight, the flight attendants will say, if you see a seat, take it because it's yours. Um, because you know Southwest does not assign uh, seats. So that's how I feel about the, the shot. If you're on a list over here, you're on a list over here, you're on a list over here, but somebody calls you and said they got one right there. Well, then this is the prime example of a bird in the hand, these two in the bush. Go get the one that's waiting on you right then and get off that list um, because there are several lists going around. But if you got access to one right now and it does not matter the brand, go get it. All of them are going to keep you from dying. If you've had coronavirus, please, please, please go get the vaccine anyway. Protect yourself, protect your young children. I understand that they are starting to, going to be starting soon if they have not already with testing young children and um when all is clear, my kids are going to get that too. Do you know, says Dia, how much immunity we have if we have had COVID? Uh, they're thinking about three months, which is why there is the recommendation from some people to wait three months before you have it. But I just want everybody to understand, do what's comfortable for you. Of course, follow the guidelines of the, of the site where you're going to get the vaccine. But do know um, that the powers that be say there is no need to wait. What the recommendation is, is that you quarantine for 14 days. If you're at home, if you've been hospitalized, then you're going to quarantine for, uh, I would just say 21 days. But beyond that, go and um, get the shot. Go get the shot. Um, you do not want to go there while you're actively symptomatic, spreading virus all around the facility for people who are trying to protect themselves. And here you come coughing and hacking, talking about you want a shot. Don't do that to the people in the room. Um, but as soon as you are asymptomatic, meaning you are without symptoms, please, please, please go and get your vaccine and protect the people around you. Because remember we said you can still, even with the vaccine, you can still get the infection. So people say, well, why in the world would I want to get the vaccine if I can still get the infection? Well, two things. If you, if you get the infection, you're not going to die and you're not going to go into the hospital. Um, and the other thing is that people are around you who either don't qualify for the vaccine or choose not to take it. And so those people you can infect, right? So that could be your kids back at home. Then they can take it back to school, give it to their teacher who, you know, for whatever reason may not have gotten uh, vaccinated. And so now she takes it to her house. And so we've got all that going on just from you. 
Um, so get the vaccine as soon as you get an opportunity. Go out of your area. If your area, I had access to some that were an hour and a half away or, or really an hour away yesterday. And I called as many people as I could. And I said, if you have a running vehicle, get to this place quick. They've got them and they're waiting on you. They're thawing them out now. Um, and so that's really the big thing is that whenever it comes up, just go get it. Y'all. Just go get it. So we'll talk about all kinds of stuff tomorrow. That was a good question. Dear. You have about three months immunity. And then after that, you're out here on your own. So you really don't want to be exposed in that way. Any other questions, guys? Any other questions? I'm trying to answer your questions here. So nobody said, well, she never tells us this stuff. Anyway, I tell y'all so much stuff. Oh, my goodness. Y'all get to spend more time with me than my patients do. And that is for real. Um, and how do I know that? Because now when people start asking me questions, I say, hold on. Let me pull out my schedule. And I say, go over to October such and such and look at this date on Dr. Brandy B. Because there's just not enough time in the um, in in the exam room for me to to do this. So even if you have a um, even if you have a psychiatrist, your psychiatrist didn't spend this kind of time with you. I know for a fact you haven't seen your psychiatrist almost fifty times, and they've spent thirty minutes to an hour with you with just education. Just education, just education. That's all I'm over here. I'm not trying to sell y'all stuff a whole lot. I do want y'all to, you know, support me. But I'm just over here out of the goodness of my heart. When I started in May, I didn't know I would have a book. But I'll have one this May. So excited. I didn't know that I would have a conference. But now I'm, ha I'm on my second one because that's what we need. And, hey, there's nothing wrong with people being able to eat, right? But I give y'all a whole lot. Give y'all a whole lot. My Auntie Brenda says, thank you, Dr. Brandy. Got my Auntie her shot, y'all. She is vaccinated first one oh. so i'm very excited about that very 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 excited about that that you let me be a part of trying to get that arranged for you uh chantry says so happy for you cuz thank you cuz because you have been there along the way with me and i really appreciate you um all the way up in huntsville i appreciate you kina bailey my sissy says yay so excited for you she's been right there with me y'all she'll say have you written that book have you written that book? And I'm like, oh, God, I'm going to write this book. But it is literally um, in production right now. I saw the cover two days ago, I think. It is so awesome. I'm so excited. And you'll be able to afford it. Yes, you will. You can get several copies, but we'll talk about that after the conversation Q&A tomorrow. Sans says, keep wearing your mask after the 9th. It does not matter what the governor says, just my opinion, though, and that is my opinion, too. Listen, y'all, I will be wearing my mask for a very, very, very long time. Um, so if you see me in the streets, keep your distance. I might give you an elbow, but I might not. And I'm not being funny. You're not coming in my house, but I'll meet you at the driveway. Um, that's just, again, what I have to do for me. I have three little kids that I'm responsible for. So I'm going to have to answer to God about what I do with them. But you do what, you know, makes you feel comfortable. And as I said last night, I gave a talk. We still got to live. So, I mean, we certainly cannot go crazy by staying in the house. And I want y'all to know that we're coming to the end, but spring break may prove something different. And then Easter. So, please still distance. That's one of the benefits, too, of having your vaccination. You can get with uh, one other family outside of your own is the recommendation if they've been vaccinated, right? So people are still dying, y'all. People are still getting infected. People are coming up to you without their mask on. You just, this this is a good time to practice. Remember what I said, the benefits of saying no. I think that was back in November. Just say, uh uh, too close. I don't even want you that close to me. And that's the thing that scares me about the ninth, after the ninth. I'm really picky about people getting close to me without their masks on in the stores. I'm like, ooh. So, but it's going to be legal after the ninth. So just, you know, do what you got to do to protect yourself. Miss Heather Summers says, what does Miss Heather Summers say? I can't see all of it, y'all. Oh, here we go. Hello, I hope you're doing well. Thank you for telling me about your Facebook page yesterday. Thank you for taking the time to help us with all the information. Thank you for being here and thank you for listening. Um, it would be no fun if I'm just over here talking to myself. So it's because of you. Facebook says I've got two, but I know it's more than two of y'all on here. It's because of you all. You all give me the encouragement, the fuel that I need to keep going. And I really, really, really appreciate you all for doing that. 
Tiffany Turner says, great talk, cousin, slash Dr. B. Yes, girl. Thank you. If y'all need some jewelry, go ahead and hit up Tiffany Turner. Actually, um, um, Tiffany, drop your link in the comment. I have pieces from Tiffany. I have pieces from uh, Tiffany's sister, Tangi. And the piece that I am actually wearing today, I think is... Um, Melendres Amber. I think this is from the box that you gave me, girl. <laughs> Amber said, I'm getting rid of some jewelry. Who wants it? I said, I do, girl. I'll take it. So, I think this is from you. So, thank you, girl. It was all kind of stones and pretty necklaces. She knew that I do my focus on it Friday. Let's see. Erica says, uh, Kina says, I can't wait. Amber says, yes, ma'am, girl. See, I'm glad you're on here today. You get to see it, girl. Let's see. Erica Harris says, if I'm wearing my mask and they are not, am I still protected because I'm wearing my covering? Yes, Erica, you are protected. And I want to, um, I'm going to, so that's two things I need to do. Lord, don't let me forget. I need to do two things for you. I need to talk about grief. I need to post something about grief and counseling. Counseling. And I also need to post something about the mask. There is a visual that talks about two people. Um, and, and it's kind of graphic, but it makes sense. But it talks about one person having on pants and the other not. And you can imagine where it went with that. But yeah, so if you are protected, and to be honest, guys, the 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 mask helps the other person as much as it helps you. And we like to think of the fact that we don't want to be governed, but we're governed in all kinds of ways. Red light means stops. Green light means go. Um, don't drink and drive. Wear your seatbelt. Those are all laws that are put into place to protect you as much as me. And so, yeah. Um, if you have your facial covering on, it is going to protect you, but the other person just want, may not get as protected because they're just walking around exposed. And, you know, there's still a lot of people that don't believe in coronavirus, and that's unfortunate because 500,000 plus people have died, so something's killing them. All right. Go away, Tangie. You already got my money, girl. That's not Tangie. That's Tiffany, girl. That's Tangie's sister. They in it together. I gave up buying jewelry for lit. I'm not fooling with either one of them. And Tiffany, Tangie be right here delivering jewelry to my house. Girl, get away from here. Open my garage door one day. She out there talking about, girl, I was in the neighborhood. And she got this bag, this white bag with thank you stamped on it, ma'am. Get away from my house. No, ma'am. Mm-mm. Looks beautiful on you. Thank you, darling. Thank you. I'm so excited to have it on. Y'all know yellow and blue are my fat, are my uh, brand colors. I'm so excited. All right, girl. Thank you, Tiffany, for dropping that link. Tiffany has some good stuff over there. Tiffany says, thank you. My boys are men, but I love the talks. Absolutely. And you know what? Sometimes the information is not for you. The information may be for your coworker, for your church member, for your neighbor, um, for your bonus child, and, you know, for your whoever and them um because everybody has that one person that needs something and if you're looking for a gentle way to oh yeah saying it's a family thing that's tiffany that you're talking to that's tangy's older sister um and you know that those are fred's cousins those are fred's cousins so those are my cousins but um if you're looking for a gentle way if somebody comes to you and they say girl i think something might be going on with my child that's your opportunity to say Hmm, I don't know, even though you know, because you've been hanging out with me for almost a year, so you know. But you might say, you might check out this lecture with Dr. Brandy B. I'm going to tell you exactly what she's wearing and exactly the day. I'm working on getting the, um, the site updated with the title so that they are easier to find. And also, my website will be coming out soon, so I want y'all to... Check that out. The you, There are videos on YouTube as well. So we've got several places. Y'all, there is no reason for people to not have education. And y'all know, if you work with me, at least one of my nurses is on here. I, I've been saying since I came out of residency, I just want to help these babies. And that's truly what it's all about. Somebody called me and she said, I just don't have the money. And I said, well, I just want to help these babies. Because these babies are suffering with ADHD. And I personally think it's cruel. I think it's cruel. Um, but, oh, yeah, you know they cousins because they went to Fatima. Y'all church members. I forgot saying. Um, Erica Harris say, well, I certainly spread the word to my clients and recommend them to your page. Thank you so much. Love you, sis. Erica, I'm going to send you a text message when we get done, too. 
Um, so if you've already registered for the conversation Q&A tomorrow, you'll get an email in a couple of hours. If you have not registered, if you know somebody who needs to be there, maybe they don't have the money, uh, go ahead and get a, get a gift for them, early Christmas gift, early birthday gift. Tell them, this is what I'm doing for you because I know that you need to be here. There will be no questions barred, no questions unanswered, um, unless you go asking something far out that ain't got anything to do with what we're talking about. But otherwise, we'll be talking about everything and answer all of your questions. Amber says she's looking forward to it. Y'all, if you need to get you some nails, get your nails together, let me show y'all. Amber, I think I bought a million of these things from you, and you see where they still are. All, every single one of them right here. But they're really cool color street. So if you need a manicure but you don't want to go and get it done, she includes a nice little letter too. I like my letter. Um, check out Amber. Amber. Put your uh, name in the chat. She said, girl, th that's however many I bought. It's all of a minus one. I tried to put some on um, in the car on the way for my photo shoot. It didn't work out. <laughs> All right, y'all, I'm going to get out of here. I'm Dr. Brandy B., triple board certified child and adolescent psychiatrist through my Facebook lives, my webinars, my upcoming books, my speaking engagements. I have worried, overworked, overwhelmed moms, dads, teachers, grandmas, granddaddies, uh, the nanny, whoever it is that um, whoever it is that needs anything from a mental health standpoint. I want you all to be mentally healthy, mentally well. I want you to be sane. It is wild out here. A lot is going on. Um, I think that people are kind of letting their guard down around coronavirus, but you still need to be ca cautious. And there's still a lot, y'all, that just keeps us kind of worked up and on edge. So this is what I want y'all to do. Amber, did you clean off that bed last week? Tell me about that. Put it in the chat. You know I give y'all assignments over here at Dr. Brandy B. This week, today, today, I want everybody to do something intentionally for yourself. Put it in the chat for me. Amber, I need you to tell me about that bed. Did you clean off that other part of the bed? If y'all didn't listen to last week's, it was a lot of fun. Uh, it's called um, either Take Care of You, Mama, or How Are You Doing, Mama? Listen to that, y'all. It's a good one. Yes, it's clean. Yay! And Erica, too. Yay! And that is why I do what I do, y'all. Who knew that something as simple as cleaning off the other half of your bed, if you're the only person who sleeps in it, can make such a big difference? I know it's some more y'all out there that need to clean that other half of your bed, too. Make sure you take the weekend and do that. And then just roll around, put it on some nice lingerie, get your warm bath, and roll around. Tell me what you're going to do for yourself either today or this weekend. Everybody drop that in the chat for me. What are you going to do for yourself? It can't involve your kids. It can't involve your spouse. It can't involve your job. It is for you. That is going to be for you. Everybody, don't rush in here at the same time. Come on in. Let me see. What are you going to do? Everybody, the self-care is the thing now that everybody's talking about. What are you going to do for self-care for yourself? Let me see. Who's got something that they're going to do for themselves? Nobody has anything? Oh, my goodness. Well, I'm going to have to get on to y'all next week then. All right. Nobody's doing it. Foot spa. Ooh. I love it, Cousin Tiffany. A foot spa. Do you do it yourself? Of course, Amber's doing her nails. I need to be trying to do that, but I think that would stress me out, Amber. So I better not try that. That's not relaxing. I think that will stress me out. I'm, I'm going to do it, though. I just got to get up the nerves. Uh, Tiffany's getting a foot spa. Are you doing it yourself, or are you... um? Letting someone else do it. I'm still working up the nerves, y'all. The last time I got my nails professionally done was this time last year. And I haven't been back. It took me for, till October 31st to get my hair done. And that was only because I had a photo shoot. Only because. Um, Sam says she is parlaying. I don't get to adult. And I think I will at a friend's house this weekend. Okay, friend's house this weekend. You be safe. Yes, ma'am. Amber says, we're going to get on a video call and I'll walk you through it. That's what I need, girl. I need a nail Q&A. <laughs> Erica says, she's going to roll around in her clean bed with her lingerie after her hot bubble bath. I love it. I love it. T 
Tiffany says she is leaving it to the professionals, girl. You sound like me, honey, because I'm stressed out with Amber's nails, honey. You see, I got all of them. I sent her all that money, girl, and I was happy to support. But I was like, Jesus, I have not. And I bought those in October, I believe. And they are still together. I need to give some of them to somebody. Sarah Robinson says we are both vaccinated, so why not? Cook and laugh and sip. I absolutely agree. Cook laugh and sip that is absolutely fantastic if y'all need to book me for your speaking engagement I, I promise when i'm speaking on stage i am much more focused but still just as much fun and for sure just as much uh educational but book me at drbrandyb.com is how you get in touch with me if you want to book me for your speaking engagement saying i need you to help me to get ready for june you're gonna help me i'm gonna call you all right y'all let me get out of here Tomorrow, uh, if you need to register for the Conversation Q&A, the link is conversationqa.live, L-I-V-E. That's C-O-N-V-E-R-S-A-T-I-O-N-Q-A dot L-I-V-E. The flyers are everywhere. I'm going to be posting them like crazy today. We only have a few more spots. I want to keep it small so I can actually get to everybody's questions. If you don't need the Conversation QA, and you may not, then I want you to go over to ADHDsuccess.me. ADHDsuccess.me. You can get a video over there that will walk you through seven tips that you will need for your kid to um, be successful in the classroom. Um, and y'all know my whole thing is that I want everybody to be successful in the classroom and in life. All right. For those that are coming to the Q&A tomorrow, I'll see you at 10. I may hop back on here tonight um, just so I can have some more fun with some folks. Otherwise, y'all have a good uh, weekend. Be safe. Get your vaccine. Wear your mask on your nose. And I will see y'all next week. Talk to you later. Bye. Tell Fred I need help. That's Auntie Wanda. I will definitely tell him. I don't know, Fred, are you listening? He may not be. Um, oh, he's just walking in, so I'll tell him. Uh, I think I have your number, Auntie Wanda, but I'll tell him. All right, y'all, I'm going to get out of here. Be good. Have a great weekend. Spring break. It's not spring break for Birmingham. I hope not, because I'm planning to send them kids somewhere Monday to school. Anyway, talk to y'all later. Love y'all. Bye.